Hello everybody, it's Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. I hope you're all doing okay. So we've just started the game here and this poor lady is coming into surgery. So here we've got Rachel Lee. She's got acute osteomyelitis and she's going to have some osteomyelitis surgery here in our hospital. So that's going to give us $3,100. So that's actually pretty good. She has got one hidden symptom. It'd be quite nice to find that out. Just getting an MRI scanner just for that. I'm sorry, Rachel, but um, I don't know about that. So I'm basically just going through and checking all of our orthopedic patients at the moment. Now, Kate here, she had a mandible fracture. And unfortunately, she's actually going through some post-surgical seizures. So I'd quite like her to have a little exam by one of the doctors are you going to do that no you're you're okay bye where are you going going home how much staff have we actually got here in the evening have you had your surgery hospitalized treated so i think you've had your surgery so i don't think we've got loads and loads of staff in the night We've got, yeah, we've got one doctor at night, which I think probably needs to change. And only two nurses. Let's get some more nurses. Ideally, we don't have to. Right, you. Well, I can't do surgery at night anyway, so sure, you can have that on, but I don't think you're going to actually be doing anything. And I don't know you as well. I know you're late to work, but. That's fine. Doctors, I think we need at least another doctor. Ideally one that's just good at diagnosis. I don't want really to have to worry too much in a minute about getting extra staff that can deal with surgery. Uh, Daniel's pretty good. We don't know what his other perk is. Should we reveal him for a thousand? Mm, no, I actually just want some fresh. Reveal the perks on those. Yeah, so Michael's pretty good. He'd be a good chap to have in at night. And then let, let's see how that goes. And then if we need another doctor, we will deal with that, basically. So I want you to have a little physical exam, see if we can find this last hidden symptom here. Who have we got here? Joseph Lewis, he's got a deep wound on his hand. But he's doing pretty well, actually. So he should be all good. Judy, metatarsal bone fractures. You look pretty good. You have got one hidden symptom. So let's make sure you get an x-ray at some point. Oh, they actually are going through with her surgery. Because you're on my day staff, are you not? Yeah, I think you're on the day shift. It's very good of you to stay. It's very good of you to stay and do a little surgery on um, on old Rachel here. That is very kind of you. So we're pretty much just going to be fast forwarding through the night. And then hopefully we can start thinking about getting in some more departments. Because what I'd quite like to do, that I mean that looks horrible at the minute. Doesn't that look horrible? You've not got a wall. Because this was going to be our emergency centre, wasn't it? So if we went out and just built some foundations here, it's not going to be cheap. Like that. Just to give us a bit of an idea. We haven't got all the money in the world. Just to start getting an idea of how big this is going to be. Do I want to extend here? I don't know. Or maybe this just becomes a corridor that like wraps around. If it needs to. I think that makes more sense. So let's brick that. And what we'll do for the moment. Is I am just going to pop that down as a corridor just to remind me because you know what I'm like I will forget so just planning out emergency so we need an on-call room a nurse's station an observation room and a trauma center 
and a few other bits like if we could have a toilet that kind of good stuff staff room it's actually quite close to this staff room so I'm not too worried about that but I think it would be a good idea to get a toilet in here could that go somewhere like there just gonna have like a nice ah emergency red do you like my screen I'm not very good at screaming and then this part at the back here I was just gonna have like a little wheelchair store pretty much isn't it just somewhere where we can store a couple of wheelchairs and if I do something like that and then a stretcher and then in the corner I don't know a bin just something just to fill up that little corner lovely I want this door to be a red door and we're going to need to get our toilet decal and that one goes there okay that's good and then if we then you pretty much come into the trauma center so maybe ah, no no I'm getting confused so come down like that uh, I'm stuck and have a corridor and ideally it would go like that to have symmetry with a door but I don't know if I want it to uh, I don't want my corridor to be four tiles long wide I don't really know as you can probably tell let's seven wide's not bad for a trauma center do something like that or do we do this so that is going to be the corridor there but the trauma center starts biting its way into it a bit like that yeah I think that's good and then we're going to need encore room nurses station which can go here and a nice big ward for our observation room over here So we'd have like probably quite long and thin on call room and then the same for a nurse's station that can probably be that whole length this bit here i'd probably save just so we can keep extending the trauma center i think is what i would do let's go back upstairs i just want to keep an eye on what's happening in orthopd We've still not done the physical exam. Can I change your doctor? At night, we've got Charles Williams. Where is Charles Williams? He's commuting. Is this because these guys are still in surgery? I think it is. So if we change you to be Michael Walker Michael, does that mean you're going to get off your bum and go and see what's happening with this lady? No. No, no, he doesn't want to. Okay, right, what's happening with our financials? Because we've got to make sure we're making some money here. So, yeah, so we're still on the same day. We've, we've done $62,000 worth of building. So we've lost forty-seven. So we would have made a profit. We made a profit... We didn't make a profit in orthopedy, which is kind. Of, it is kind of how it goes because the wages of the hospitalisation staff for specialised departments is always so much. So we're basically going to have to keep an eye on that. Here's Charles Williams. He's now in. Yeah, he's now going to go and look after this lady, Kate Taylor. Is that physical exam going to show anything? Not really. No. So we've still got one hidden symptom. We could do the ear examination. 
Why can't you do it in a diagnostic unit? Okay, I'm a bit confused why you can't just do that in a diagnostic unit, but fair enough. So how are these guys doing? You seem pretty happy. Yeah, you're good, Joseph. He'll probably be um, discharging them all in. Oh, I couldn't think of the word. So let's just speed on through the night. We'll just check if anything's happening. I don't think much will be going on. Keeping a check on our high dependency patients. Going to do some rounds in the ward. But that all looks pretty good. Does the time actually go faster if I do that one? Yes. So we've got this lady in the diagnostic unit. She's having a few bits done. Do we need... I really don't get why I can't do that. Can't be prescribed at this department. I don't know if I'm just being really dumb. I mean, possibly, right? Possibly. Everything's good. It'd be really good if we can try and treat 45 patients per day. I don't believe that was a monetary reward. It's not, but that would be good. And I'd like to try and see if we can enable hospitalisation and emergency. That'd be really good. It's very rare you actually get many many patients coming in when you first open the emergency department for hospitalisation. But then as soon as you unlock ambulances and you actually get ambulances, then you can start getting quite a lot of people come through. So it's an interesting one. Right, let's straight on till morning. Shouldn't take too long at all. And hopefully, I think it's around seven, eight o'clock in the morning, we should see some people from our orthopedy ward be discharged. And hopefully that brings in some money with it. Be very sad if it doesn't. Here we go. Right, lovely. So let's have a look. What is going to be going on? At eight o'clock, all the patients are up. They're all walking around, going to the toilet, having a morning wee. I mean, you should definitely be discharged, Joseph. Unless we still need to give them, give this guy these for like another day or something, possibly. Yeah, he's still going to be hospitalised. Where's, who's this? Oh, ah, no, him, her, sorry, sorry, Judy, sorry. You're going for your x-ray. Okay, what's going on with Kate? She looks all good. She looks like she stopped having those post-surgical seizures. Rachel Lee's been discharged. That's really good. And I'm sure we'll have some new patients coming through the departments today. Right, let's go and have a look at our emergency hospitalisation. Now, this is going to be a pretty basic like layout. Um, we're not going to have too much here, really because we're going to be wanting to save as much money as possible for our basically for our like actual departments to run because our wages are going to be costing so many pennies right let's do that we'll do the corridor in our classic little wooden dado rail right so you get into the trauma center that can be a door that can be a door. We're going to put a wall up here because of these windows. So basically, it's going to be like that. And this is going to be just like a little supply closet is what I was thinking. Do I want to get rid of that wall? To get rid of that one, make it a bit more. Could do them with blinds, could do watch windows. Let's put in one witch, what, I can't speak, watch window. I'm just gonna call it a witch window. Right, operating table. So if you're going, I, or I think they go that way. So let's do this. Right, and let's see what we need, because this is expensive. We're gonna need like one of these, and then we just copy them, because these are so expensive. You need two lights. I mean, that's quite greedy, really, isn't it? Okay, two medical lights. You need digital imaging. Can this go anywhere? 
I think so. And then you need all of this. Right, so we'll get some like sanitizing bits by the doors. Another disinfectant dispenser. Then we need right, all this stuff, which I was going to put down here. The mobile workstation, I'm happy for that to be easily accessible. But this stuff I want down here. So we're going to get one of them. We're going to get a whiteboard here. We've got the list of patients. And then let's also get a square table for our fast USG. Lovely. So that is the room up and running, I believe. Let's just check. Yep, yeah, that's the room up and running. That has cost quite a lot of money, but I'm sure that'll be fine. We've got $18,000 left. So that's our actual trauma center up and running. Let's get this up and running here. So on call room, let's keep it to this wallpaper and then we can do it nice and easily. That needs to be that one. Do these walls. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, door with window. So they can really easily get into the trauma center. My words are not working today, are they? Wow. And then we'll get like a standard wooden floor. Is that more expensive than lino? No, it's the same. Right, and then for the moment, we're literally probably just gonna have one desk in here, just so it's completely functional. Office chair, we'll put a bookcase in here and a card file, just a few bits and bobs, just so the doctor who has to sit in here doesn't gouge their eyes out because they're so bored. And then I would pretty much like to copy that. Put that there. Then we're going to extend those walls. We will extend the floor. We're going to put that as an emergency nurses station. And I believe the only thing that this will need that is different is we'll need some kind of equipment. So we can come in here, put some equipment, meal tray. Let's get rid of the bookcase. No. Nope. Okay, do it that way, and then we'll also pop in like a, a wheelchair that they can use. And then let's also go for a shelf. And then this one, I'm happy for this to have watch window so people can see who's in. I quite like on corners putting in some glass, so let's do that there as well. I think that's quite cool. And I'm happy to have glass on this side. I just, I want these rooms to have some privacy. So if we came out with the tiled wall, like that, does that fit the privacy thingy majiggy in nicely? Yes, like that. I think that's quite cool because then we can get in some glass. I'm tempted just to do, I'm spending lots of money here, but I want it to look pretty. Get some glass in. Okay, right, so that's basically all functional, which is what we needed. Everything to be functional. We will work on improving this, making it much nicer as we go along, and basically just have more money. We just need more money to make this a lot nicer, and then we will, of course, be trying to make this look realistic, pretty, all of that kind of jazz. Right, so you come up here, this is gonna be tight, but let's just get on some doors and then we will build out a very simple, can I put, no, I need to put the wall in, you silly boy. Let's get this one. I'm just picking random wallpapers, can you tell? That goes across that missed that one in there right and then then we get our double door this one can have some really nice windows let's go upstairs because I, I basically just need to copy that if I go down that is two beds we'll put them on this wall first if I actually do that in the corner that then should work out nicely for me 
what wall did we use? I think that's this one. Like so. And like so. We need some tall glass in here. Get rid of that one. And then we can put in a nice window like that. How gorgeous. And then our floor can be something like that that can maybe go can we fit one more in there one two three four one two three four hmm, it's tight we can maybe do something like that do i've already forgotten what one that was that one four and then i don't know Let's do that. We'll do that for the minute and then we'll work out the final orientation and that jazz shortly. Right, so what are you complaining about? You need to be an emergency observation room. Like so, I have got hospital beds. Is it because you have an... Ah, you need life monitors. What is the cheapest life monitor? That one. We've got two beds ready, disinfectant, a bin, some equipment, need a defibrillator, you need a CRP scan. Oh, our money is low. Oh, and you need an audio meter. Audio meter. Mobile workstation. Can I even afford a chart board? I'll get a chart board. We have $260. I'm just going to go in here and get one bank loan. So we've got $20,000 just to actually make sure the, that the hospital can run pretty much. Let's make sure that this is all designated as a corridor. We don't want our janitors to be caught lacking, do we? Right, so we basically need one doctor and nurse in the night same in the day so here let's go for you're pretty good at night linda you've got the um night owl perk and then in the day i mean i would quite like to see everyone's perks let's go for barbara and then on to the nurses again i'd like to see your perks please nancy's pretty good and let's also go for susan Right, so the department works. Now what that's done is that's actually now unlocked our ability to do intensive care. So that is very expensive. So we won't be able to do that today. We will need much more money. I will be very surprised if anyone is going to be coming down into the trauma centre because at the minute, before you have ambulances, you don't get many people coming down into the trauma centre at all. We'll just have to keep an eye on what's going on there. So let's go back up into live mode, into play mode, and we'll just see what's going on in orthopedy. So Kate here looks okay. She's definitely kind of stabilised. She's just having some post-op care. I don't think we've got anyone else in our regular world. We've got one patient who's Judy. She came in with that, those uh, metatarsal bone fractures. So I think she's all good. We've got two doctor's offices kind of open here in a day. So that's all good. Downstairs, it's quite quiet. We've just started the clinic, so not much going on. Oh, she's going off again. Where are you going? Ah, oh, you're probably going to get... Was it Judy from... I think she's an x-ray, isn't she? Yes, did that highlight any yes so that did find her last hidden symptom that's really good we have a patient up here in orthopedy we've got jessica taylor jessica taylor has a deep wound on her arm so let's also do a differential diagnosis and then we are pretty much just going to put her into regular hospitalization and focus on attacking all of her symptoms basically Again, her some treatments for all of them. Right, we found all of them. Lovely, have all of that. Do you need to be hospitalised? 
I don't know. I don't know if you do or not. We've also got Elizabeth King. She's got hip osteoarthritis. That does not sound very nice at all, does it? She's actually going to need hip replacement surgery. So you're going to have to go for regular hospitalisation. And we're going to give you all of the treatments you're going to need to be fit and healthy, hopefully. We are now seeing this lady here. This is Dana Barkley. She's got a deep wound on her hand. Let's also do a differential diagnosis. This will hopefully show us these hidden symptoms. And then similarly, she's just gonna get all of that aftercare as well. Dana Barkley also needs to be hospitalized. That's fine. We've done that. So she's gonna go up and be hospitalized. You've been treated. We are now gonna see this lady here, I believe. So I'm not sure if she's got broken ribs or chest contusion. So we're gonna do everything we can before chest X-ray. Oh no, that's the wrong patient. Sorry, Lisa. We're seeing Daniel Hernandez first. He needs a wound closure for his deep wound on his arm. Can we do that about hospitalizing you? I am not sure but we're going to find out. It looks like it actually, it looks like she, um, he might be able to do that, have that done in the doctor's office. Yeah, nice. Is this Lisa? That's Lisa there. She has broken ribs, so she's going to need some compression wraps, which you don't need to be hospitalised for, so Lisa should be all good. Did this patient, oh, she got released. That's really good. We should have got some money from that. We've got Elizabeth King here. She's probably waiting for surgery. Dana's in here. Carol Lee. So we're not sure if Carol's got a fracture of the clavicle. So we, we, we know it's a fracture of the clavicle. We're not sure if it's a shaft fracture or a simple fracture. So one requires surgery, one doesn't. So she hasn't had the differential diagnosis yet. Let's wait for that. She's just going to the loo. It'd be quite good to see what one that is. We are going to, need to give her some care. Because I don't suppose she's having much fun. It is a shaft fracture. That is a real shame. She will need to go for surgery, which means that we get more of a payout. So, you know, it could be a lot worse. How is everything going? Oh, we have got a chap in our observation unit. He's got ankle contusion. Why on earth is he in observation? He just needs that and then he can go home. He doesn't need to be hospitalised. Bloody hell. Do you think I'm made of money? Do you think I'm bloody made of money? Kate's down here. She's not sure. Well, we are not sure if she's got a foot contusion or metatarsal bone fracture. So hopefully we'll be able to find that out. We've got a very busy doctor's waiting room down here. We might need another doctor's office, possibly. It's getting quite busy down here. Depends how fast we can get through everyone, really. Oh, objective for insurance company has been completed. Treat 20 patients per day at emergency. Wait, what? We would have done that ages ago, wouldn't we? Okay, doesn't matter. Increase clinic patients per day to 15. So now we've got save a patient after one collapse. That will give us our next intern that we hire. will be a great candidate, so that'll be really good. Right, what's going on up here? Rachel Robinson, not sure what's wrong with her. Again, let's do those before the x-ray if possible. More than happy to give her some treatments in the meantime. Robert Gonzalez, we're going to hopefully find out what's wrong with his arm just by a differential diagnosis. No, I didn't yield anything, so he's gonna go for an X-ray. Hopefully that'll tell us what's wrong with him. Right, well, that was a busy day. We've been working hard up in the osteo, what's this called? Orthopedia department. We've been working hard, and we have also been building out our emergency department down here, ready for when we get ambulances, and we have some real emergencies on hand that we need to deal with. There's blood everywhere, it looks good. Right, so I really hope you enjoyed the episode guys. I'm gonna leave it here for today. 
comment down below any feedback or suggestions and I'll see you in the next episode where we can continue to try and treat our patients. Take care of yourselves and I will see you later.